damage here to the Appalachian Trail is extensive after Helene. At least 100 trail miles have been damaged. Now, organizers with the Appalachian Trail reports that Hurricane Helene has seen in its 100-year history. Mm -hmm. And the federal forest land and the trail passes through south of Bland County. Rising and falling in deep mist-shrouded waves, the Appalachian Mountains have defined the eastern edge of North America for more than 480 million years. Older than the Himalayas and vast in their reach, these majestic ridges wind from the wilds of Alabama up through the Carolinas and Tennessee, sweep through Virginia, the mysterious heartland of West Virginia, and press on through Pennsylvania and New England, finally bowing to the Atlantic and Newfoundland, sometimes called the backbone of the continent. The Appalachians are a land of roaring waterfalls, moss-heavy forests, and ancient secrets, but there is a darkness woven through these lush hills, a sense of power and unpredictability lurking beneath the ancient stone. Tales of unexplainable events circulate through tiny hollers and foggy valleys, whispered in mining camps and roadside diners. The legendary Mothman, elusive Bigfoot, the sly Wampus Cat, and the chilling Flatwoods Monster roam both folk memory and late night talk radio. For generations, Locals have felt both awed and uneasy in the depths of these mountains, suspecting that forces far older and perhaps stranger than humanity linger here. Now, in the spring of 2025, a series of discoveries have shaken the region's reputation for quiet endurance, torrential rains, and fatal floods, a sudden and inexplicable uplift of the very mountain slopes this morning, a popular tourist destination and a stop on the Appalachian Trail. Hot Springs, North Carolina is a go-to for people who flock to the mountains. Part of the town was decimated by the recent floods from Helene. And eerie warnings from expert geologists have converged into a mystery that even the most experienced scientists are racing to explain. Is the Appalachian wilderness awakening, stirred by climate chaos, concealed geological forces, or something impossible to name. In a land already steeped in myth, what secrets are being unearthed by the relentless march of technology and time? And with experts themselves voicing fear, what might the mountains reveal next if we dare to look? Red Alert, the uplift that should not be. It started as routine data a nightly sweep by satellites and ground-based sensors recording subtle changes in the Earth's crust. The 1980 eruption left a scar that is both physical and emotional, etched not only into the landscape, but into the recollections of all who witnessed or learned of its fury. Even today, the mountain, its sides reshaped, its peak violently shorn away, five set off alarms that have only grown more urgent. What they found defied the usual geological expectations. Over several days, a long swath of Appalachia, stretching through the isolated ridges of West Virginia and deep into eastern Kentucky, rose by centimeters, then inches. Within weeks, areas that had been stable for millennia shifted upward by nearly a foot. Satellite readings showed unmistakable signs of ground uplift a swelling of land too rapid and extensive to credit entirely to gradual tectonic movement. Geologists, typically cautious and reserved, issued a rare red alert, a designation reserved for situations of imminent risk or catastrophic ground instability. Across university departments, emergency management offices, and newsrooms, the question arose, what force could make the spine of Eastern America move again? And so suddenly, some industry-sponsored voices tried to minimize the news. Was it simply technological error? A brief satellite glitch in a sea of data? Could groundwater shifts or mining-induced subsidence explain the change? The evidence refused all simple answers. Deep beneath the surface, sensors recorded unfamiliar patterns of heat, subtle tremors, 
and unexplained subsurface noises, an orchestra where no music should be playing. The mountains, it seemed, were stirring. What could force a range that had survived more than a dozen ice ages, outlasted continents, and witnessed the rise and fall of ancient life to move in the space of a single season? Were the stories told around campfires of restless earth, of mountain spirits, of something old that never sleeps? More than mere metaphor, scientists agree. The answer may still hide deep within the Appalachian stone, but no serious expert now claims that the mountains are as silent or as stable as once believed. Floods, fear, and fatal rain, climate unleashes the unthinkable. Even before the satellites sounded a red alert, the region was reeling from another blow. Rains of a ferocity and frequency not seen in living memory. In February 2025, a storm system unleashed relentless downpours on mountain towns and hidden valleys. Hundreds of creeks, usually ribbons of water, exploded into surging torrents. By the time the skies cleared, 23 people had lost their lives. Barely two months later, in April, the mountains suffered again. In just four days of rain and flooding, 24 more residents died. Climate scientists moved swiftly to connect the dots. Peer-reviewed reports confirmed what residents suspected. These were not simply isolated weather events, but signs of accelerating climate disturbance. Warmer global temperatures had supercharged weather system, drenching the Appalachians in persistent, extreme storms. Once rare floods have become all too common, cutting through roads and hillsides with a violence that scars communities already tested by decades of adversity. The floods did more than wash away homes and hopes. They revealed the hidden fragility of the mountains themselves. Saturated soils and overflowing reservoirs placed immense pressure on deep fissures and fault lines, weaknesses in the Appalachian crust, worn and weathered over millions of years. Every landslide, every roaring creek was as much a warning as a disaster, a caution that the forces holding the mountains together may be strained as never before. Water quality, too, became a source of dread. Lee Ann Crematis, a seasoned water expert, issued an advisory. The spring water so many Appalachian families depend on may be contaminated with disease-causing bacteria. With rain flipping forest soils, flooding sewers, and overwhelming old mine, even the clearest mountain spring could harbor invisible threats. Is it coincidence that catastrophic weather seems paired with the mysterious rising of the mountain slopes? The hidden battle in the forests, a kingdom under siege. To the untrained eye, the forests cloaking Appalachia seem everlasting, deep, green, eternal. But look closer, and the truth is bleaker. High on the ridges, groves of trees are dying, their trunks marked by disease, their crowns eaten from within by invasive insects. Industry-supported scientists, pressed by public concern, point to culprits like the balsam woolly adelgid, a tiny but devastating insect draining the life from the region's iconic firs. Others warn of diseases with sources and vectors still under study. In pockets of unusual silence, bird songs disappear, replaced by the creak and crackle of dying branches. These forests are more than scenic backdrops. They are living tapestries of interdependence, shaping rainfall, nurturing rivers, and filtering air. For centuries, their roots have held the soil, their canopies shaded the rain, and their shadows inspired stories of cryptids and spirits. The health of these woods is key not just to local ecosystems, but also to the resilience and identity of the communities who call Appalachia home. Are these forests succumbing to imported enemies, or is there an older struggle being reawakened? As the ecosystem attempts to adapt, the risk of collapse grows. What happens if the last sentinels vanish and the stone bones of the mountains are laid bare once more. Encounters in the unknown, legends, and lived truths. The Appalachians are a realm where fact and folklore intertwine beyond easy separation. Outsiders may scoff, 
but those who live in the shadow of these mountains speak quietly, sometimes only to their closest confidants, about things they have seen and heard. There is the Mothman, an omen of disaster in local legend. The Wampus Cat, a shapeshifter from Native American stories, said to prowl the laurel thickets. The Flatwoods Monster, remembered for its brief but memorable appearance in the West Virginia. And always, there is the elusive possibility of Bigfoot, mysterious tracks, sudden stone throws, and a sense of being watched that no animal should inspire. Yet for every outlandish tale, there are accounts that defy easy dismissal. People with decades of experience hiking the region report strange lights, unknown sounds, and unshakable feelings of being watched in the woods. No place has been quite as inexplicably weird as Appalachia, admits one who's lived all along the East Coast. Expeditions searching for Bigfoot return with more questions than answers. Experienced hikers, once openly dismissive, now tell of sudden chilling feelings as dusk falls in the valleys. Are these the products of imagination or hints at something unexplained lurking in the ancient forest? Perhaps the real secret is not that people believe in monsters, but that the mountains, so old and enshrouded in mystery, prompt a unique blend of awe and fear in all who cross them. What waits, patient and unseen, in the untouched wilds? A scientist's fear, when data defy explanation. As physical evidence, both geological and ecological, grows more disturbing, scientists have begun resembling not just experts, but reluctant witnesses to something uncanny. The underground tremors, too, do not fully match the patterns of normal tectonic slips. Climate scientists, confronted by policymakers, have dropped their previous caution. This isn't simply a bad year, they warn. These are systems breaking down. Rainfall patterns are increasingly unpredictable, driven by global trends that amplify every risk, soil erosion, landslides, even the spread of new diseases. Ecologists tracing the decline of forests admit to sleepless nights. Disease and insect attacks now move faster than natural replacement. Tree species native for ages may be lost within decades. Even the region's water is no longer assured safe. As experts such as Lee Ann Chromatis warn, the very springs relied upon for generations may now conceal dangers invisible to the eye. All the while, old stories, once dismissed as superstition, gather an unsettling new relevance. When faced with upheaval on a scale not seen in recent memory, even hardened experts wonder, is there something at work in Appalachia beyond the reach of the models and explanations of modern science? The fear underground, searching for the trigger. Fueled by new urgency, teams of geologists and climatologists have entered the field with high-resolution radar, pollution monitors, and seismic imaging array. Trails once familiar only to deer now host fibers and sensor nets, measuring every subtle shift or vibration in the ground. Early findings only deepen the mystery. The uplift zones line up with areas of forest decline and recent flood damage, a pattern with no easy explanation. Underground, sensors have detected scattered pockets of unusually hot water their temperatures above historic norms. In some areas, the rock itself appears fractured, broken not by mining, but by unknown upward forces. There are also odd noises. Sensitive microphone capable of capturing the Earth's deep vibrations have recorded strange pulse-like booms and rhythms beneath remote hollows. Some specialists note that these patterns bear a distant resemblance to those found in volcanic landscapes or on faults just before rupture. Yet no volcano has shaped the face of the Appalachians for hundreds of millions of years. Are these signs of a new or hidden geological process, previously unrecognized by science? Or might the upheavals reflect the same deep-seated natural forces that shaped these mountains long before humans tried to read their language? No answers have emerged thus far, and every new reading seems to deepen the mystery. Disease in the water, an old faith shaken. To live in Appalachia is to trust the land. Springs and creeks, gushing from rock and rooted earth, are more than scenery. They are an inheritance, a birthright, 
but 2025 has challenged that confidence. After the floods, water samples from trusted mountain springs, the cause is clear. Contaminated runoff from livestock pens, flooded mines, and oversaturated soils entered aquifers with the heavy rain. Lee Ann Chromatis, who has studied regional water quality, publicly warned about unseen threats. We may be facing a time when even the mountain water cannot be relied upon. For generations, families collected water straight from the spring, confident in its purity. Now, that certainty is broken. Public health officials debate next steps, even as some communities, distant from treated municipal supplies, continue to drink from their traditional sources. This new threat compounds the pressures from storms, shifting earth. Is the mountain itself sick, or is the entire system root to crown, spring to sky, caught in a spiral of disruption? Whispers and warnings, the human imagination under siege. In times of crisis, minds reach for answers, for patterns, causes, and meaning. In Appalachia, the convergence of extraordinary trouble has sparked a resurgence of rumor and legend. Some say the rising of the land is evidence of ancient forces at last reawakening. Others whisper that the valley's pain brings forth the monsters of myth, spirits called to punish, warn, or perhaps defend. Even the most rational find themselves fielding unusual questions. Could the infamous Mothman really foretell disaster? Are the strange lights in the trees and the recorded roars the result of natural seismic disruption? Or is there more beneath the surface? Jokes mask real anxiety within scientific teams. As the line between folklore and fact blurs, understanding Appalachia grows more elusive, except for those who have always believed the land itself holds a kind of agency, old as the hills and always awake. Eyes on the future, the primeval awakens. As of the most recent reports, the Appalachians remain unsettled. The uplifted slopes are not subsiding, and satellite images repeatedly confirm the ground's movement, written across the backbone of the east for all to see. Around the region, flood-stricken communities rebuild, but cautious uncertainty lingers. Forests strain against disease and drought. Wells and springs, once trusted without question, demand new scrutiny. Amid this turmoil, conversations are shifting. Some talk of leaving, others declare their intention to stay, defending land that holds the memory of ancestors, histories, and hard-earned hope. No one doubts that the region is in the midst of an extraordinary event. Whether the cause is climatic, geological, or something still unnamed, the reality is clear. The Appalachians are changing, and none can say what the next year will bring. One thing is certain, all who watch these mountains now do so with a blend of fear and reverence. The old stories have taken on new weight, and recent warnings can no longer be ignored. What was once dismissed as mere superstition has become the cause of real red alerts and scientific dispatches. The ancient backbone of the East is neither conquered nor fully known. When the oldest mountains rise anew, what else might they be waking? What do you think waits within the heart of the Appalachian wilds? Are these changes the work of hidden geological forces, climate upheaval, or something older and perhaps stranger than science can admit? Stay tuned for more investigations into the world's wild mysteries. Next time, we'll follow the signals, stories, and scientific searches wherever they lead. Don't miss it. The mountains are watching, and maybe, just maybe, something is watching back.